Hi Pisces and welcome. This is going to be a general love reading for the first half of November 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Also the roles can be reversed. So we will be looking at your person's energy towards you but it could be that this is actually your energy, all right? So you could be a Pisces watching or you could be cross watching for a Pisces but the roles could be reversed either way. If you would like a personal reading to get more details and more personal, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on with the person that you are dealing with. First couple weeks of November 2022, sun moon rising and Venus signs. All right, starting off, we have the Four of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Cups. Wow, okay, this person is really being stubborn here in terms of holding back um, their love or coming forward, you know, showing affection, all of these things. So the fact that they're even like holding back, that tells me that, yes, this this is something that they feel deep down, right, with the Knight of Cups also showing up here. That's like their challenge. Otherwise, if they didn't feel this, that well, they wouldn't need to hold themselves back. They wouldn't need to refrain from that. So yeah, they're being a little bit stubborn in that way. Let's see the recent past. We have the moon. Okay, so that's Pisces energy right here. Um, yes, either you're being very, very confused even from before or just keeping things in the dark, like not really um, expressing themselves. Let's see... For the near future, we have the Nine of Wands. All right, so it could be that they're breaking through the resistance, but we'll see more when we clarify or as we go along. For the their consciousness here, we have the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo energy also showing up here. Yeah, I feel like this person is really like, almost like hiding in the shadows is the way that it's coming in. Um, really keeping to themselves, not expressing themselves at all. Let's see their subconscious. We have the Page of Swords. All right, so secretly though, or in their subconscious, they're actually very, very interested in you um, and also possibly just keeping an eye on you, but secretly. So yeah, pretty frustrating. Let's see, and annoying. <laughs> Let's see um, their current energy towards you. We have the Seven of Swords. For your energy, we have the High Priestess. Okay, that's interesting. And hopes and fears for them is the Ten of Pentacles. All right, Pisces. Let's see. Um, Yeah, it's like this person, it's kind of like they're just avoiding, avoiding this situation. It's almost like, you know, what they're, what they're showing is it can be a little bit deceptive or it's kind of like they're just kind, like trying to sneak away from this or trying to just avoid, avoid the situation at the moment. We'll see why. Um, in your energy with the high priestess, it's like, yeah, so you're kind of keeping to yourself as well. But not only that, I feel like you also there's something here that you're picking up on intuitively and it really is just a matter of trusting your intuition on whatever it is that's going on or whatever it is that you know you need to know especially in terms of guidance for this situation the ten of pentacles yeah so it could be that this person has a fear of that a fear of of the commitment and of reaching that that level of commitment but it's also um that they're really, really wanting this. This is what they're actually hoping for. So it could be one or the other, or it could actually be both at the same time. Let's clarify this and make some sense out of it. Let's see the Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups for the main situation here. The King of Cups the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Wands. All right, so <laughs> this is interesting. I mean, because the fact that you're also holding back, so I don't know who started um, taking the distance first or who was holding back first, but it kind of feels like you're both like doing that. Um, yeah, so it could be that the reason why this person is holding back is maybe you wanted to take some time for yourself first, or maybe you know you went quiet first for whatever reason. 
Um, it could go either way. It's not really clear yet. So with the King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Wands, yeah, this person is definitely holding back. They have a huge urge to come forward. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions that they're feeling for you. But again, it's like they're holding back and it's like they're waiting. And this is why I'm saying that maybe they're waiting on you for some of you. Um, definitely, it's not going to be for all of you. But for some of you, I definitely feel like there's this waiting for, for you to take some kind of action or maybe for you to, maybe the ball is in your court for some of you. Um, and then for others of you, yeah, this person is just pretty much procrastinating. Let's see the Hermit. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. I feel like this Wheel of Fortune has been showing up a lot in the um, in the water signs, I think. Maybe air signs as well, but definitely in the, in the water signs. So yeah, it's kind of like events are just taking place um, just overall that that they're like outside of your or their control, like events are just kind of happening here, which I do feel is divinely orchestrated. So this person is definitely during this time of these events that they feel like is out of their control. They're learning a lot about their own self and about what it is that they that they truly want. Um, it's it's interesting though because even though like they have you so much on their mind and they they have like this deep desire for you they're keeping to themselves they're keeping to themselves and again um for some of them it's because you might be also like taking some time because i do see them feeling like it's not in their control for some reason that's the interesting thing. Almost like, you know, feeling like they need to be alone right now. Like they have to go through this alone time. But again, it's teaching them a lot. Let's see the Page of Swords. The Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. All right. So, yeah, I mean, this is somebody who really does want this contact with you and it, it, it's pretty quite painful for them that they don't have this um, or that they're not taking that action or that you're not taking that action or however that is playing out for you, you would know. But there's de they're definitely going through a lot of pain because of that. So I do feel like this person actually does want communication with you if you're not in communication or they're just, you know, also very interested in you and this is actually creating um, a lot of pain for them. It could even be that they have found out something about you for some of you, um, which is also creating that pain, like some kind of a truth. Or this truth, <clears throat> well, or they believe it to be a truth. I'm not sure if it really is. Um, but it feels like, yeah, there's something that they have found out that, that is causing pain for them as well. All right, let's see the seven of the swords for their current energy. And we have the king of pentacles and the 10 of cups. Wow. They're so avoiding this, what they're feeling here, which is what is it that they're avoiding? The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I mean, this is commitment. This is love. This is being together um, in a very steady way, in a very stable way, in a very solid way. So them actually keeping their distance, it's that's that's deceptive. That's not representing how they truly feel because they do want this commitment with you again it just feels like they're waiting on something and again I feel like for most of you or for some of you at least it's like they're waiting on you but for others of you it could be that they're waiting on something else like something completely different that they need to wait for and it could be anything it could be waiting for them to have some more financial stability or um, to heal something within themselves or to recover from something from the past so I feel like that's going to be specific to each of you um but definitely they're waiting on something. That is what is in common here for Pisces. 
Let's see the High Priestess for your energy. And we have the Hermit showing up again a second time and strength. Okay, so we also have Leo. So Virgo showing up a second time and Leo also now. Yeah, see, so you're keeping to yourself too. This is what I'm saying. You're keeping to yourself too. And it also feels like, you know, you're holding back. Like it's taking some strength for you to also hold back um, from this. But again, it's like, you know, you're learning a lot about your own self as well. And it does feel like, you know, you are following your intuition on this. I feel like you, you are. So it's coming off as you like knowing what you're doing. Like there's a reason why you're holding back from this person. And, you know, even if this person can't understand it, it's okay. It's okay because there's a reason for it. And I feel like, you know, things are going to play out in the way that they are meant to in the end here. Let's see that 10 of Pentacles. the Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So yeah, this person does have a fear of this, like constantly just being like this never ending process where it's like, yeah, we're building towards this or the energies are moving us towards this commitment, but then it like, what if it doesn't happen? What if, you know, we detach? What if, you know, this distance that we have just ultimately leads to this emotional disconnection and then, you know, that's it. So there's a fear of that happening. Um, and it's okay for that fear to exist temporarily, actually, um, because it, if this is a very strong connection, it, that's not, and I do see the love there, as I said before, like, it, that's not going to happen. Like, you're not just going to, there's not going to be a loss of this connection just because there is distance. Distance is not going to create the break of, of love, basically. So if there's, if there's an ending or if there's a break because, you know, that's just what you want, that's a different story. But it's not going to happen just because there's distance. So yeah, deep down, this is what this person wants as well, that, that commitment with you. All right, let's see. Let's see what is coming up, the Nine of Wands. And we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords showing up again. All right, yeah, so there's definitely communication. I feel like it's coming in... Um, after like a struggle, like almost like, <laughs> like this person is going to be like, they're going to like reach some kind of personal limit, whatever that is. They're going to reach that limit of like, okay, like not being able to take this anymore and then just kind of, um, you know, giving in. I mean, Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups, this is them clearly coming in, right? And there's some kind of a communication here and I feel like that communication is coming with a lot of affection with a lot of love but it might also ha carry a little bit of resistance at the same time maybe like a little bit of guardedness so yeah but it is coming in though all right Pisces So let's see the final message for you if this resonated. And we have the waning moon. What do you need to release? All right. So yeah, I mean, there could be something here that this person needs to release. And I, I do feel like it's probably most likely a fear, but of course it could be, it could be anything. Maybe it's ego, um, that stubbornness, <laughs> right? So I do feel like that is being released, but also you, the viewer, you're being asked you know, to take a look at what you also need to release. Not necessarily this person, maybe it is this person, but maybe it's just something else in your life. All right, so Pisces, that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.